Monty Don has announced the heartbreaking news that his beloved dog Nell has sadly died after a battle with cancer. The gardening presenter, 68, revealed on social media that his lovely dear Nell had last night passed away just three years after losing his golden retriever Nigel. Sharing the tragic news on Instagram, the Gardener's World host posted a photo of Nell as a puppy and another of her sunbathing in long grass, the Mirror reports. I was going to tell you about my new book which is published next week but that can wait because my lovely dear Nell died last night. She was diagnosed with cancer in June and every day this summer has been a gift but it is over now, he wrote. We buried her in the garden next to Nigel wrapped in one of my jackets with flowers, balls and her favorite biscuits. Her end was peaceful and dignified and ended obvious suffering but it never gets any easier to bear. So life goes on, but for the moment we are very, very sad. Fans rushed to the comment section to send their condolences to Monty, with one writing, Oh that is such sad news so sorry for your loss of dearest Nell, she was adored by many. Another added, so heartbroken for your loss. I love seeing your dogs as part of your world. Thank you for sharing Nell with us. As an animal lover and dog owner I feel your loss and sadness x. Oh that's so sad. She had a very tired look about her in the latest episode, I'm so sorry for you all. Dear Nell, one Instagram user penned as they sent their love to Monty, with another thoughtfully writing, sending love and light to you Monty. I learn so much about plants and gardening from your show but you also teach us so much about gentleness and compassion through your interactions with your dogs. Thank you for sharing them with us and showing how you enrich each other's lives so beautifully. Mondi sadly lost another canine companion in 2020, when his dog Nigel sadly passed away. Speaking a few months on from Nigel's death, Mondi explained the Golden Retriever suffered from violent fits all night before his passing in May. He admitted the tragic moment was hard for him to process as Nigel had never suffered with seizures before. He recalled, it was a lovely day and he'd been outside and at 7 o'clock in the evening we went for a walk, he was fine, and I put him to bed at 10 o'clock. Then at 1 in the morning, my son, because my son and daughter-in-law have been in lockdown with us, woke me and said, Nigel is having fits. So I stayed with him for the rest of the night and he fitted all night. Speaking on the Griefcast podcast, he went on to add, It's such a violent thing and you feel as someone who's trying to help, I sort of know what to do, but it feels inadequate because it's so violent and people can break bones and anyway, you have a large dog doing just that all night, again and again and again. Join the Daily Records WhatsApp community here and get the latest news sent straight to your messages. Thank you.